hi guys so welcome back to my channel so if you notice my shirt today i did do some run for lupus it's a cause that's really close to my heart I have friends that i knew that had it fortunately they didn't pass away but i do know some people that i weren't that close to that passed away but anyway just want you to know today is october the 16th so that's what i did for my exercise today i went running for this good cause now i just want to share with you quickly princess african style yes i said african because you'll see why princess african style vegan mac and cheese and guess what guys it is as fat free as close to possible oh really quick let me show you something okay so this has nothing to do with the video but this is some butter uh Cut vegan butter, of course, that I made, uh, and then banana bread that I made for my kids. They love it. So, guys, you see, you can make your food at home. Just want to share my bread with you. And the recipe is on there. Remember, you can make it without the nuts. Okay, guys, let's get started with this. Uh, now, like I told you guys before, I love pasta. But because I do not need the unnecessary fat from pasta because I'm on the lifetime health journey and I have a gold weight. Yes, that gold weight is 120. Currently 200, and I'm gonna get to that too, to that uh, 120. Anyway, so I use my spaghetti squash. See, I empty it. Anyway, I baked the spaghetti squash for about an hour because I wanted it soft, and I wanted to be able to just scoop it out. So you can cut it in half or cut it along this way that I did. Now be careful because they are kind of hard to cut through. So get you a good knife when you're doing that. Um. In here, I have nutritional yeast. This is what you call nutritional yeast. This is the brand I like. So I have nutritional yeast and I have a uh, kiddo, uh, sunflower kindle. The sunflower kindle, because I didn't want to use cashew. There's lots of them out there that have cashew and stuff, but I did the sunflower kindle because I personally, I like cashew, but I don't really care for them. Um, so yeah, guys, let me show and the, let me show you um, how I'm gonna put this together. Um, I try to create TV magic as much as possible. So let's go ahead and this is some fresh coconut milk. I made it today. Yes, guys. You know you don't have to make fresh coconut milk. Just make sure if you're gonna buy it, buy it. the good brand, the organic brand, and make sure you read your ingredients. Cause like I said before, just because it says organic, it's not organic. I'm probably rambling too much. Let's do this. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm putting in I put in my coconut milk, okay, and we're gonna put in some apple cider vinegar, just one one tablespoon. I'm gonna put in my tahini. I've shown you guys. This before, this is my favorite type of tiny. Like I said, you can make tiny from scratch, but this is my brand when I feel like being lazy. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of tiny. Okay. Uh, habanero pepper. Now, if you want anything you do not want that I have in the recipe, you can always take it out. Habanero pepper, love it. So I'm going to put just a tiny piece in there because I want it spicy. I'm going to put some garlic powder in there. I'm not measuring the garlic powder. Just put as much as you want. I guess it's the Africanness that's in me. <laughs> and I'm going to put some garlic and herb inside of there. More garlic, yes. I love, love garlic. Oh, and also I try to make sure I get oil free, uh, salt free. I'm gonna put some pink Himalayan salt, my best friend. I forgot to tell you guys what was the base of this sauce I'm making. The base of this sauce is carrots, one whole big carrot, uh, chop off, you have to boil your carrots, I did that already, and then uh, one potato. So there's lots of different ways to make it, but this is Princess African style. So yes, just wanna show you that. Uh, okay, we got that, we got that. Oh, again, more spice. I'm gonna put some cayenne inside of it. Okay, apparently this cayenne pepper is not open. I know I have one that's open. Let me go get it. Uh, 
I'm back. Okay, so cayenne pepper. Again, on the cayenne pepper, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Guys, remember, I do this for fun for you guys. I'm not a professional chef. I'm not shouting with a camera. I'm shouting with my iPhone. Okay, so let's blend this. Oh, in here, over here, I have some fresh parsley. I told you I love to cook with herbs and some, um, I, I mixed them. So I, I got fresh parsley. Oh, and fresh, and fresh cilantro. That's what's in here. And I'm going to put some of that inside. Again, if you don't like it, don't put it. Again, I just put about just a pinch of my hand of each side. Okay, so let's blend this. blender not a high speed blender I'm gonna blend it a little bit more so maybe once I get my vitamins or something I won't have to blend it that much so let's blend it a little bit more because I want it nice and creamy <laughs> Again, this has nothing to do with cheese, but it's vegan cheese, nutritional yeast. Has a lot of amazing health benefit. You don't have to be vegan to cook with this. I'm gonna add some of this inside of there. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna put as much as I want in it. So since it is a mac and cheese, I'm gonna put a generous amount inside of it. Then I'm gonna keep blending. <laughs> sage if you do not know about sage guys check it out it's amazing it lower your back cholesterol it's also known to reduce menopause and lots of amazing I told you I'm gonna try to keep this channel simple as possible a lot of amazing health benefit of sage now what I did do instead of oil because I try to cook oil free I've been doing that for the last two months or so I roasted it with water yes water I put a little bit of water inside of it put it on slow and I'm also gonna put the state the sage on top of it so check out sage try it with some of your meals okay guys so this looks nice and creamy Let's see this is kind of the consistency you want the consistency I like looks like a cheese sauce doesn't it but it has no cheese no dairy Okay, 
Okay, so I have it in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it up so it can get like a good stir. Good stir of my spaghetti squash. Guys, you wouldn't even miss spaghetti once you give spaghetti squash a chance. It's so delicious. It's not just I'm on this health journey. Eating healthy, guys, can be super, super awesome and delicious. So, yes, yes, yes. And also, by the way, this is my old mad meal I'm gonna have today, um, along with the black rice that I made. I made some black rice last night. So, so far, I've been fasting for about 20 hours. On regular, like I said, when I'm not doing water fast, I fast about 22 to 23 hours, and then I give myself about an hour to eat. But you, you can adjust it however you want. But yeah, when I'm not doing water fast, I'm still practicing intermediate fasting. So my body has been in ketosis for about 12 hours. The reason why I know, I have an app to help me. So you don't have to remember this thing. So you see how that is nice and cheesy. And oh my goodness, that looks so good. So, so good. Okay, guys. Fresh, sweet cherry tomatoes. So good. I'm going to take some of my cherry tomato and I'm just going to sprinkle it over it. Yes, I, my goal is health. So I try to make sure my meals, remember I talked to you guys about I be intentional about what I eat. This is part of being intentional about what I eat. So I got the tomatoes in here. Again, my second layer. This in here, remember? what I told you it was at first. So, yeah. And since so it is my food and my hand is washed, I'm gonna use my hand and just finish doing the crumb, finish crumbling it up and I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably about 25 minutes or less. Just depends on how you want it and the texture that you're going for. But I kinda want it kinda like caramelized and so yeah, this is it. This wasn't that hard. Eating healthy is not hard at all. I'm gonna put it in the oven and then I do not get to eat until about 4.30. That's when my old mat is. And it's about 3.14. So I have a little while before I eat. But yes, guys, cooking for yourself is not hard at all. And you see it is on a Saturday. I'm preparing my meal. All right, guys, until next time, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, your health is your wealth. You don't have to be vegan to be healthy. Just think about what you're eating and make sure you're intentional about your health. Bye, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye. Let me put this in the oven.